Paul, 3D printing is a rapidly growing industry. I wanted to get your perspective because you've just invested in a HP 3D printer. So what are your thoughts on this as an industry? Um, it's definitely a, a growing industry. Um, we think it's got lots of potential for growing. Um, we very much see it as a very complementary process, sort of in between subtractive and injection moulding. So you're telling me that you don't think it's there to replace that process, but no. it's to complement. Absolutely, yeah. So we, we have quite a lot of um, experience in, in, in injection moulding, and we definitely don't think it can compete cost-wise when, when parts go up past their thousands. And if you're going to be producing exactly the same thing, part cost doesn't really come into play. So what you're telling me is there's a certain, what you feel is a certain niche of an area in terms of part quantity, part versatility. So what would you say works for you and your business? Because you're making parts for bikes. So what quantities are you working on and how flexible are machines like this? If we wanted to bring out a product and trial it on the, on the market and see how it goes, then we've, we, we've done that a few times. So you can, you can have very low risk financially and low risk product-wise, so there's no tooling going down. You can produce a, a, a prototype or, or, or a short run of parts, get them into consumers' hands, get them, get them going, get some feedback, change the iteration, and throughout the parts life cycle, you can make small changes along the way, which is not something that you can easily do with injection molding. Every time you want to make an iteration or a change, you're having to spend a lot of money putting a new tool down. That's not only time, but it's money as well. And would you say that you've proven out that process already so far? Yeah, I think we, we follow that process with all our products. We test them in the market, we change them, we make them stronger, we make them lighter, we can make them fit better tolerance-wise. We're always tweaking tolerances to get them tighter and tighter. That's one of the biggest benefits that we find. So ultimately then, is this the future and are there still improvements that you can see in your eyes yet to still be made? Uh, it is the future and it's improving all the time. Machines will get faster, they will get more accurate, more materials will come out and there'll be more choice within all those machines and materials. It's evolving. Yeah, all the time.